帰る、帰る。
Well, 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 it's time. Mind the body. Hello, Liliana. How are you? Hello, Heidi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, fine. Fine, teacher. Really? That's great. That's great. Tell me, how was your day? It's weird just talking to you. I always see you. <laughs> yes, yes. Give me a sec. Here I am. <laughs> Oh, too. there you are. <laughs> There's also Heidi. Hello, Eliana. How's everything? Gee, you are so comfortable. Oh, yes. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. It's almost Friday, almost Friday. Almost Friday, and Buddy knows. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, you know, the problem is that it's Friday and we got class. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, but I like your classes. I really enjoy it. Yeah. No, what I mean is no partying after, no partying Fridays. Are Night you a party is young, girl? teacher. Night is young. <laughs> Are you a party girl? I used to be a party girl, but now not too much. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the problem I got is that where I live, I mean, to move to somewhere at night, it takes me one hour to get anywhere. And imagine the class ends, my class ends around 11.15, somewhere around. So I'm going to be 11 something. So not worth it going out. So now when I get classes, I'm more like for Saturdays going out at night, but still, I usually go, well, I used to go a lot out. Uh, I like dancing. Oh, really? So, yeah, I used to go dance. What's your favorite, cool. your favorite uh, music to dance? To dance? Salsa. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I love dancing salsa and I love also merengue, but mostly salsa. That's the one I do. Latin love music. <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny because uh, I don't like cumbias. What? No, not really. <laughs> I like salsa, I like merengue, I like bachata. I can, I can dance cumbia, but I don't like it. Not really my thing. What about you? Well, pretty the same. I love to dance uh, salsa, bachata. Pretty but much, pretty I'm much the pretty same. Much, pretty much the same. Thank you. Uh, but I like merengue. Oh, me too. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but let's see. Last time I went dancing was when? January? Huh? In January. The last time that I danced, I think was Christmas, maybe, with my family. For Christmas. Oh, my yes. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. In, the, in my case, for Christmas, I don't go out. I hate Christmas. Why? Oh, I don't know. It, it's not like... A, Your it's favorite not one of, No, it's not my type of festivities, Christmas. We don't celebrate that much here. I mean, actually, last, last Christmas, believe it or not, I went to bed around 11. I was so tired. 
because uh, uh, a friend had passed away two days before. And, uh, and we were with the family like for two days straight. And I was like driving for them, taking them do all the errands. And so I was so tired that, I mean, I went to bed and I didn't even listen to the firecrackers at midnight. I was so tired. Oh, but I still, I mean, Christmas is not, not my thing. Which is your favorite festivity? Christmas. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. You know, uh, I went and visited a friend before Christmas. Man, they do love, they do love Christmas. And we went to their house uh, uh, by the, on the way to, to Puerto de la Libertad. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything inside the house, and I mean everything was decorated for the season, for Christmas, even the toilets. In that house, they do love Christmas. I was like, man, this is the, that's the total opposite of my house. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, some people love it, some people don't, and the type that don't, you are the ones who do yeah. love it. Yeah. Okay. I, I love it because I think that, that, Christmas, well, I love to spend time with my family. So cool. those days uh, we usually re reunite. We, yeah. Yes. Yeah, reunite and talk and we laugh, we, we eat. And okay. for me, cool. Cool. For what me do you that, cook for that, Christmas? Do you cook? Yes. I have okay. a special, a special, I don't know how to say. Receipt? Receipt, yeah. Mm -hmm. A friend uh, of my dad that uh, he he was chef, so he, he I don't know teach me or something. Talk me, talk me, talk me. Thank you. Uh, this recipe is filet mignon. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so my 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 dad love love that yeah. that recipe. Yeah, yeah, so in too. Christmas, I, I, is delicious. Yeah, I cook for my family, so I really enjoy that, no, that that's the cool. season, yeah. That's cool, yeah. I also cook for my family. I prepare coffee, yeah. <laughs> and that's as far as I can get into the kitchen. I don't know how to cook nothing at all. <laughs> Well, well, Diana, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Heidi, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Mm, I'm pretty. Mm. I had a really look, tough day. You look tired. <laughs> I am. A little That's bit a stressed. Tough day. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I understand you. I understand you completely. And tell me, uh, what time did you finish working? I just uh, I I arrived home a little uh, uh, just a few minutes ago. Oh really? Uh, oh, my gosh, that was a really really heavy day for you. Yeah. A uh, uh, cashier from another branch passed away to the, uh, to yesterday night. Ooh, so accident. sorry so, to hear that. Yeah, and I had to fire another one, and really, really tough day. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always complex, a difficult situation. Yeah, my, my mortgages are not approved yet, so believe me. <laughs> mm. Mortgage. Oh, don't talk to me about those things. I hate mortgage. But it's good for business. Yeah. I like them because I like to see the customer's face when then when when Yeah, when they, they sign know up. They're going to have a house. It's very nice. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, I can remember. I can remember when I did it. 
I was like, man, so much to pay. Weren't you happy? I know uh, about the debt part. Yeah, you know, the thing is that I am not that, uh, how do you say this? That's a word, a specific word. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't, perhaps I am, but I don't show it. That's the problem. You That's don't actually press your feelings. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not mm -hmm. that I'm not that emotional. And I don't I was never good at expressing feelings. Actually, that's a problem from my from my childhood because in my in my family nobody was like that. We were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, so uh, I was never used to to hug. I mean to hug Hugging was not like common happens in my household. So it's like, uh, what? I mean, mm -hmm. last time we hugged with my father was like, what? I don't know, like 20 years ago, somewhere around. The same with my mom. I mean, it's not common place. And really? You yeah. know, once I, I read a book about, it was called Language of Love, that we have different languages to, to, to show someone else that we love them. For example, your wife can be the opposite of you and show love by hugging or kissing. And your way to show her love may be being, being careful about her car, like that. And, and you have to learn to communicate in, in those different languages. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I, I try to be, I mean, I try to be kind and I try, I care for people, I do. I, and I mean, I want, I'm always trying to be solicitous with uh, people who surround me with their needs and and, and that's um, that's your way to to show love. Yeah, that's the way I express that I care. But to be like like specifically hugging or in many words expressing it, not really. That's not that much my thing. I mean, I tend to be to be pretty serious, and it's funny, you know, because uh, actually they make fun of me. <laughs> the rest of the time, I am like uh, serious. I mean, like this. This is my regular face. And I am not that expressive. But I don't know what happens to me. But whenever I start a class, like a uh, switch turns on and, and everything changes for me. Perhaps it's that I enjoy this. It's, it, and, it, it is what it, it, you feel passion for. Yeah, and it's the only time that I actually smile a lot because I don't usually smile. Just like me at work, I feel tired, but I love it. Yeah, I mean, I am pretty serious, but for classes, it's a whole different story. I mean, I can talk and I can make jokes <laughs> and I feel, I feel comfortable, pretty comfortable. But yeah, to be emphatic, to show Empathy is hard for me. It's hard for me to express it in the other, in the place, in the way other people express it. Like in the situation, I mean, you told me that somebody just passed away. I mean, uh, for me, it's hard to go and tell words to somebody. And I mean, for me, it's like, a, I'm so sorry for your loss, but to give words of encouragement, and what can I tell? I don't know what to tell to people to make them feel better. It's that nothing that you will say may, will make them feel better. That's why it's so Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why I avoid those situations. I mean, I get there and if they want me to help, I do it gladly. I mean, I got no problem. And But to express it, uh, I'm always... 
at a loss for words. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm weird. That's that happens, you know. It's that you, weird. you have a different language to express. That's it. Yeah, English. <laughs> Oh, it's funny for me. It's easier to express some things, some ideas, no, some feelings, perhaps, uh, in in English rather than in Spanish. I don't know why, but I feel less uh, less uh, handicapped. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm yeah, perhaps. Well, actually, something that happens is this. Remember that English is a language that is which is easier for thinking rather than Spanish. It's easier to think in English than to think in Spanish. And that's oh, really? a fact. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is a fact. Spanish is pretty hard to think. I mean, it's complex. Our language is complex. We uh, don't feel it more... because it's our language. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty hard. And I mean, I cannot teach Spanish. I cannot, I don't even dare to try to teach Spanish. That thing is so complex, so difficult. Because I have, have friends who are, uh, they are English teacher and they dwell into, they change into teaching Spanish. I mean, I got a friend, she teaches Spanish. That's her livelihood is just of teaching Spanish to foreigners. And she's like, no, it's, she tells me it's pretty different. And to teach it to somebody who speaks another language is complex, really complex. I thought Spanish and was more easy, be easier because you read it as you write it. It's yeah, but easy. that's that's the problem. Not all not all languages are like that. Mm -hmm. Ours is a syllabico, no syllabico, syllabico. And, but not all languages are like that. So that means that people don't think that way. And that's the thing when you are talking about a language, remember, a language is not just the language, it's a way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And it's also a way in which you express culture. So uh, it's a little bit more complex. And that's why I tell you, English is easier for thinking. And it's a fact, it is. So whenever you are thinking in English, it's easier to structure your ideas and to communicate those ideas. Yeah, English is easy. Yeah, it is. Look, you are speaking it. You are listening to it. And everybody here in the class is the same. They are listening to it. They are, they are understanding what we are talking about. So, mm -hmm. and your language, your Native language is completely different. Yeah. But I mean, uh, you can express the ideas in a simpler way. In Spanish, we have the problem that we got uh, so many, many more words, verbs, way to express them, and also the 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 moods of the verbs, that's oof, difficult. If you get into Spanish grammar, man, that thing is huge. English grammar is not easy, but it's not that big. Hmm. I used no. to like classes in Spanish. Nah, I don't. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like them. I, I am bad. That's at helped me a lot. In my case, I, I am pretty bad at Spanish classes. I mean, you will hate watching me writing in Spanish. I made so many mistakes. Really? Uh, uh, grammar mistakes or, or how do you say orthography? Uh, mostly with accents, you know? Mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Mostly that's my problem, this. But it's mm -hmm. funny, you know, because uh, I... I read Spanish pretty well. I used to evaluate uh, stylistics from from uh, from thesis, university thesis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I used to ju I used to help students who were working on their thesis, evaluating their their stylistics, and that was easy for me because it's reading, and I love reading. That's one of my passions. But writing it, it's a whole different story. I it is because you, it's about expressing thoughts and feelings. Yeah. And yeah, or perhaps, as I told you, I am weird. <laughs> Heidi, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too, teacher. Let's see, Ambar. Hello, Ambar. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm just great. Just great. Tell me, how's everything? How's your day? Well, my my day uh, was better than to yesterday. The things mm. start to improve in sales. Oh, that's cool. So glad to hear it. So we are making box. That's nice. Uh, I hope to will. I hope to yes. Okay, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, because okay. you need to get your have you gotten to your goal yet? Yes. Oh, okay. It's so we are goal. talking about the extra. The extra, yes, the extra bonus. But I need to more sales because I need to money. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, money is needed from for everybody. Things are expensive. The the cost of life is so high nowadays. And we got yes. responsibilities and huh? it's my bills, difficult. my yeah. Oh, going to the supermarket is horrible. Yes, it's the depressing. The high prices in the supermarket is very sad. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I mean, yesterday I went to the supermarket and it was sad, as you said. It was pretty sad. When I go to the supermarket, I feel, how do you say, siento que gasto más? I feel I spend more. I feel I spend more. Yeah, that happens to me. I mean, month after month, I feel like, man, it's getting higher and higher. Yes. <laughs> and you're getting but, less and less for your money. Yes, but... <laughs> yeah. What? Well, what can we do? Right? Yes. Exactly. Hey, Amber. Nice talking to you. Welcome. Let Thank me you. get the let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yeah. Amber Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftali Mendez Torres. Here I am, teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marco Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Chasmin Montarroza Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. 
Okay, guys. Well, let's continue. I still got some minutes to talk. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Roxana. How are you? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Well, Good evening. I just think I'm fine. Tired, okay. but fine. You think yeah. you are fine. Cool. Just I feel a little tired because I was working until 6 p.m. And for uh -huh. me, it's extra time, you know. Yes. Because I finished my work at 4 p.m. But today I need to work some extra hour without payment. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, but everything is okay. I think that uh, tomorrow maybe it it will uh easy day. It will, it will be, be. I, yeah. It will be an easy day. It will be an easy day. Yeah. And in general, I think that uh, everything was okay in the rest of the day. Today I was working with my son in a uh, minute evaluation. Oh yeah, online. Yes. Uh, oh, it was easy, right? Uh, yeah. It's a diagnostic evaluation. Yes, and I try to uh, explain the the um, psychologic, I, I guess. Psychological. Psychological evaluation. Yeah. And I think it, it, it was a interesting day. Ooh. I yeah, so tell me, are you going are you gonna approve this year? I pardon? Are you going to approve this year at school? Yes. I guess. Because when, when we got little kiddos, I mean, we study along with them, right? Yes, totally. And that's uh, it was Don't worry, product. you just got one. Oh, yeah. It's enough, teacher. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know. It's interesting. It's interesting, actually. And it's fun. Yes. Just uh, after working, I just having time with my family, and I can't. Uh, no, I couldn't go to the gym. Oh really? Why not? Yeah, because I don't have time. I didn't have. I time. didn't. I didn't okay, have time. Well, Maybe tomorrow. Let's hope so. It's always good to. Keep on exercising. I did, you know, I had time to go to the gym to them. Yeah. Man, I'm tired, everything hurts, but they say that's good. <laughs> yes, I think that it's important to spend time in some activities like that because uh, you try to spend in, uh, the time in stuff by you. So By yourself. <laughs> by yourself, yeah. And maybe you can think in whatever you want without interrup interruptions. Yeah. Yeah, that it's happens, fine. you know. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps you just simple disconnect. Mm. In my case, that happens. Whenever I start doing exercise, I mean, I, I just concentrate on that and on the pain. Yeah. So I don't think about nothing else. Yeah, but it's different if you are in your house because sometimes your family uh, are there always. So you are focusing on other things. And if you are in the gym, you have time by yourself. It's totally different. So I prefer go to the gym and stay okay, at home. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When you are there, you have time to yourself. Okay. What okay, well, is the difference? 
in use by yourself or to yourself? Por y para. Tú gastas tiempo para ti. For. Okay. To para. That's the difference. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, who else? Hey, Jose Wilfredo. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. So far, so good, teacher. What about you? The same old story. Well, no, today I had a very interesting day. You know, I had to go to the BMT for uh, expertise and expertise. Uh, and then I had to go. No. I'm sorry? Did you buy a new car or motorcycle? Uh, another motorcycle. Oh, really? Yeah, the thing is this, it's not a new one, but it was out of the system. My cousin, he had it for <laughs> like three years parked in his house. And, and one day uh -huh. I told him, look, uh, man, I need a motorcycle. Lend me that one. And he told me, get it. Let's do the paperwork. Just like that. So he gave it to me. Oh, and it's big one. No, no, no. It's a little tiny thing, but... <laughs> Just to move to place to place. Yeah, actually, I just needed to go to the to one of my jobs, just to one of them. Not really. But what that place where I go, the problem is that it's in the countryside. So if I take the car, you know, the 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 shock absorbers suffer a lot. I mean, you yes. gotta you gotta replace them like every three months. <laughs> and yes, I know what you mean. That's expensive. And uh, look, look at it this way. I usually spend $25 of gas on a, on a regular week. In $25? Yeah, in the motorcycle for one week, I spent uh, one gallon. Or like so, $5. Yeah, like $5. Just say about that. Oh yeah, sure. Yes, I know what you mean, teacher, because I have to draw the, the microbus because like uh, my new credentials take like 72 hours to, to be ready. And my boss uh, told me that he will contact me when the credential be ready. So I draw the, the motorcycle today, the motorcycle, I draw the, the microbus today. And uh, I help my wife uh, with the business. But the traffic was terrific. No, terrible. Terrible. Terrific is good. Ah, okay. It was ter terrible is bad. Okay. So oh, the, yeah. the traffic was terrible. Traffic's been interesting lately. <laughs> Near to the Itka, I don't know if you if you go uh, if you go for there. I don't usually pass by that way. Wow. But I, I know my traffic spend, is there. I spent like 15 minutes in that place. Oh, man. You should come all the way to Soyapango. You'll have fun. <laughs> That's yeah. beautiful. Or the same goes like if you are going on the way to, to El Puerto La Libertad, you know, before the gas uh -huh. station. It's uh -huh. just beautiful. There's a lot of traffic. Well, actually, our whole country is getting like that now. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But and thanks, God, teacher. Today was a chill day. Okay, cool. Glad to hear it. Thank you very much and welcome, Mr. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for us. Anna Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing very well. But the weather, oh, it's still, it's still, it's a hot day today. It's a hot night. I don't know if it's because of my room, the roof. I don't know. But oh my god, what a day! Well, right now, I don't feel it that hot. I just shower. 
Mm. Maybe I will take a shower after the class. <laughs> I will try. Yeah, sometimes that's what I do. I take a shower before. Well, you know, last week I took a shower. I woke up and got up from my bed and took a shower because, man, I was sweating as a Exactly, exactly. And here in my area, it's not raining yet, man. We are like desperate because it's not raining. Mm -mm. Nah, neither here. I mean, last night it was just like one minute. Oh, really? Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. In, in my city, I, I feel strange because here in my in my area it's not raining. But for example, if you go uh, to other side of the city, in the it South, rains. For example, exactly, and it's raining a lot. And here in the north area, see, it's not raining. In the south. Hmm. Please tell me out. Give me some pointers. <laughs> Okay, uh, do you know Santana? A little bit. Ah, okay, I live uh, after the Central Park in the cathedral. Okay. Uh, you continue driving straight ahead. I live in the Principal Avenue. So my area, that is the north side okay. of the city. Okay, so the south area will be beside Metro Centro or... By with, the stadium. Exactly, exactly. In that area, wow, it's raining a lot. Yeah. By the stadium it used to be fresh. Yes, those places, yeah. yes. I remember when I was like 19, let's see, yeah. I went with a... with a, a friend. <laughs> with a friend. Uh, with some friends and actually we stay up all night long oh it was fun yeah it was cold around 3 a.m man it was cold were you in the area near to the stadium or yep ah okay that area yes and above like when you just get into the city and travel that that area yeah. is, is so fresh mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember staying there. Actually, we did it three times. Mm. It was fun. Well, I was young. Oh, okay. At that, at that age, everything is fun. <laughs> yes, I just can imagine. But here, that is... Uh, and, and I had to work with uh, the fan on all the day. I don't like it too much, but it's necessary in these days. Mm. Yeah, I understand you totally. I got my fan on. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would be like sweating. Right now it's on in my room too. I got a, a ceiling, a ceiling fan. Uh, uh, we need to exactly. We need to continue and uh, let's see what tomorrow brings. That's the attitude. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear How me? are you? Uh, yeah, fine. I do. I do. Yesterday, yes. last night, I couldn't. Yes, because uh, I use my headphones, and when they are not charged, uh, I can I can talk for my cell phone. I don't know why. Maybe they have I don't know cutting out or something. So if get I a, don't have the headphones, I get can't. a hammer, you know, you hit it a couple of times with a <laughs> hammer, that helps. They, they are the only ones that I have. <laughs> so for that, I was fighting with them. So I think I have to, to, um, to I don't know, to restart the computer, the computers, to restart the, the cell phone and then see if the, is it, if the microphone or whatever I want <laughs> can work. Works. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. So tell me, how's everything? How's your day? What's new? Uh, today was it's so good. Um, not too much today at, at the work because the season is finishing. So we are just getting less and uh, cool about some stuff. And the only thing is that I have pain on my legs. I don't know why. 
But um, let me see. Um, yes, the only thing is that in the work, the uh, the one supervisor put the 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 football game from El Salvador and Jamaica. Uh, but only that today was a normal day, I think. Oh, yesterday oh, really? I, I felt tired. I don't know why. It was How was the day, game? But um, I won? don't know when I. I think it was. I don't know. They were one to one, so I didn't finish. It. Oh, a tie. Hmm. Yes, I don't know. Really, I don't know. I don't. I don't pay a lot of attention. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't pay attention to the football well, game. Soccer game. Soccer game. Sorry, football game is the other one that has the other kind of ball, right? It depends. In the United States, it's like that. In the rest of the world, football is football. Yeah, <laughs> football is the normal football, but yes, it's true. Yeah. In I have to say soccer game. Yeah, but, it's weird. Yeah. Maybe is that my update? I don't have I didn't do too much today. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Let's see, guys. Let me check on my lesson plan. Just one little thing. It's better if I check it. If not, then time's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got time for speaking. Gosh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But we are going well. Welcome all of you guys. It's nice having you here. It's always good to, to see a lot of people in the class. That's the way I like it. But today we are going to have uh, some conversations as usual. I'm going to give you some topics so we can like talk, discuss, okay? And let's see. Okay, now we are going to talk about ourselves, okay? I got a question. Tell me, guys, do you have any artistic talents? Do you? Like, perhaps you like painting, you like music, you can sing, you can play an, an instrument, something like that. Let's find out. Let's see. Francisco. Hello, Francisco Eduardo. Okay, tell me, do you have any artistic talents? Sorry, Francisco, I cannot hear you. Let me see. Now I hear you. Yeah. Do you have any artistic talent, Francisco? Um, about to be sure. Okay, to be now sure. tell me, what type of art do you like? Do you like ta art in any form? Well, music is one type of art. Uh, sure. uh, could you repeat me, please? Do you have any? What type of art do you like? Do you like music or painting or something uh, like that? Uh, painting in, in music, sure. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, tell me. Uh, Many years ago, uh, I, I like me uh, draw. Oh, you like drawing by pencil or uh, or with chalk yeah. or yeah. Uh, with pencil. Oh, that's nice. But many, many, many years ago, teacher. <laughs> yeah, that That, that happens. I mean, that happens sometimes that when we get a family and compromises, we start forgetting those, those abilities, right? 
Yes, it is true. We don't pay that much attention to them. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Frank. Yes. Frank. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. What about you, Frank? Tell me. Uh, about art. Do you like art? art? Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like. Uh, actually, I used to draw and painting. Oh, really? Yeah, when I was younger. Okay, yeah. tell me, what do you, how, which technique do you use to practice? Uh, watercolor, oil? All of them. Oh, oil, really? uh, yeah, watercolor. I don't know how it's in English, but it's just a pastel. That's chalk. Let me see. I need to look for the ones that I got here. I got them somewhere because they got the name there. Yeah, but when I was younger, I practiced those kind of styles in painting. Yeah, and, it's and plaster. No, no plaster. Oh, really? That's nice. You don't practice it no yeah. more? Not, not too often, no. Not too much, really. But I still draw. Oh, nice! I, because I mean, what, a, paint, what about uh, charcoal? Do you like charcoal? I don't know what is charcoal. Sorry. Uh, carbon. Uh, yeah, I practice it a little bit. Yeah, some that's, sometimes. That's the one. That's the one I like. I draw with uh, with pencil, but but. Uh, Different kind of pencil, right? I mean, yeah, sure. HV. Yeah, you got 4H, 2H. Yes. According yes, to, so, the, to the shading you want to, yeah. to, to apply. Yes, of course, yeah, yes. So uh, now I'm, I, I'm not painting too much. Well, during the quarantine, I painted, I paint mm. some some things just because I have, I had a, enough time to, to do it. And I, sometimes I, I was a bore, so I paint, I paint some, some things, but yeah. usually I, I just draw, usually I just draw. Yeah, you know, that's funny. I got, uh, I got actually two, two canvas like for i have had them like for five months and i had i haven't even take them out of the of the bag <laughs> yeah that uh, happens yeah, it's, i mean yeah i mean you need to be a, the problem with painting is that you need to be on the moon yes uh, of course to, to really do it otherwise i mean you can sit in front of it and you don't do nothing yeah yeah and you have to, you have to, to, to be ready. I mean, with the all, all the things, right? The yeah. Canvas, different yeah, the, type of the oils. Yes. Yeah, but you know, the problem for me with oils is the mixing, the really? mixing of colors. Yeah. The thing is that I can, I see the color here in my mind, but when I start mixing it. I don't know, sometimes I just don't get it the way I want it. And you know, when yeah. you're painting, uh, when you're painting, yes. you are, you, yourself, I mean, you are a very bad critic. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you don't like something, I mean, you better destroy it. Yeah, I, I remember that I broke some, some canvas because of that. <laughs> That happens. Well, interesting. Yes. Nice, Grandma. Nice talking Thank to you. you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, who else is around? Hey, Fernando. You available? Perhaps no. Okay, Ileana, what about you? Do you like art? What type of art do you like? Well, um, music. 
Okay. My favorite, yes. What types of music do you like? Mm, pop music, maybe. I I hear a lot of music in English. I I think that I I I I practice when I hear the songs, and okay, I really nice. love it. Yeah. My favorite uh, singer is Adele. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. And well, that's my, my favorite kind of, of art. Yes. If I have a, an artistic talent, I don't know. Some friends and families said that that uh that i have a nice voice but i don't think so mm, interesting interesting we will see you we will hear you singing once no <laughs> it was like no 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 <laughs> no but it's fun have you ever tried playing any instruments a piano but uh, i stopped to to, to practice and I used to have a piano, okay. but I sold it, sold it because I didn't practice anymore. So my That's mom, actually my mom sold it. <laughs> so, yeah. Give me just a second guys. Um, I'm sorry, I'm back, I'm back. Well, thank you, Liana, interesting. Let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Jose Rivas, hello. Hello, <laughs> sorry. I was tell saying. me, tell me, tell me. Uh, do you like art, any type of art? Yes, music. Okay, what's your favorite type of music? Uh, salsa. Oh, love it. Which one? The new one or the old one? The old one, the new one. The hard so, salsa? La salsa dura? Uh, kind of, kind of. So, but like, so, basically, so the, the, that is for 80s, right? Well, no, 70s. 70s, right. Yeah. The real, so I don't, real, I, real I don't know. So, hard salsa. I, mm -hmm. So I don't remember. So uh, had you ever heard so uh, this the sound that is for Residente, uh, like Calle 13, that he he really likes so uh, a singer that is for salsa. Oh, Ruben Blades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when Blades, Blades. Blade, uh -huh, yeah. So yeah, well, has, yeah, of course, yeah. He's, he he was part of the fan, yeah. yeah. Love it. Yeah, so uh, I really like him. So he, basically, he his sounds so are really nice. So compared to with the new ones. So I think oh, that is yeah. better because like the, the sound, so it's really different because nowadays, they usually used so like a uh, system or if uh, I don't know how to say the the camera was they changed the, the, the oh tool, auto right? tune auto tune uh, yeah yeah they do That's yeah the, it's the word. it's different yeah where now you're talking about a pretty old salsa mm -hmm. and it was part of Fania let's see who else was there. Willy Colón, Willy Colón, yeah. Lavoe, Hector Lavoz, good, mm -hmm, yeah. good, good. And, and, no, and also... Teo Feliciano was... In... Teo, yeah, ah, Teo, yeah. Feliciano. Teo Feliciano, exactly, that, that's one of the ones that I was thinking about. Good, Teo was yeah. good. 
man. Yeah, we are talking about good music. Yeah. But, yeah, basically, yeah. And then when we talk about music, man, that's, well, I gotta stop because that's a passion of mine. <laughs> yeah. So, when you, you wrote down so the, the question, so I just, I said, oh, yeah, so, so it's my best topic that we can, we can talk about. That is the best topic. Like, so if we have any kind of, uh, let's see the question again, because uh, if we have any artist or talent, so I said that, yeah, so hit. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh, it's it's nice. It's nice the fact that, that, uh, that you like music and that, well, it's not just the fact of liking music, but being a little bit picky about it. Thank you, Jose. Nice talking to yeah. you. Oh, you're welcome. Heidi, what about you? Art, tell me, do you like any type of art? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I don't have any talent for arts. Um, when I was but a little what about, do you like, um, do you like anyone? I mean, do you feel attracted to some type of art, perhaps? Not really. I like music and I like, it's that, you know, when I was a little girl, my dad uh, sent me to take uh, painting classes in the National Art School. I remember hey. that it was in downtown and I didn't like to go and I didn't like to paint. So it's you were pushing to it. Yeah. You yeah, know, you know, you know, girls used to be good for a decoration, you know. Well, I, I was listening early to your talk with, I don't, I don't remember who was, but to put the Christmas tree and, and all of the stuff at Christmas. I don't like that. I don't like to do it. Oh, I'm not good at you are, it. You're you one of, of mine. You're one of mine. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, well, well, yeah, but I mean, perhaps it's the fact that they push you into it. Maybe. I would that have liked be. to learn how to, how to play the piano, you know. That's what I wanted to, to do. But instead, I was sent to painting classes. So. Yeah, it's hard, you know. It's funny. <laughs> I, I had the opportunity to learn how to, well, at least to, to receive classes to about how to paint. And my dad didn't want me to. <laughs> and there was a painter here in El Salvador. And Violeta... Violeta de Ceballos, you know, uh, she and her husband did the Monumento a la Revolución. Mm -hmm, really? And, and yeah, and she was a friend of my mom. Oh, really? And she, yeah, and she used to tell my mom, uh, bring bring them, me, my sister and me, to me and my sister, actually, to, to go and learn. But my dad was like, nope, and nope, and never allowed. So I and you, and you wanted and to go. I felt a little bit attracted to it. Then I learned how to play. Uh, well, I have I have music teachers, so I learned how to play the trumpet and the trombone. And let's see, and a little bit, a little bit of vocal classes. But man, it was a long while ago, and after many years of, um, well, at that time of smoking and drinking coffee and so on and stuff like that, you know, your voice changed a lot, it suffers. So now my art is to, to watch other people doing it, performing it. And I enjoy it. I mean, I love, uh, in music, I I enjoy classical music. There's some type of music that I like. I mean, I like a little bit of opera, mm. and I, I can enjoy like, some. I don't like classical music. It's too oh, that's that's you because know, you haven't you haven't heard Habanera. That's beautiful. I don't think so. Well, you know, on on <laughs> second thought, on second thought, I think I have got a talent. Um, I think I'm good at leading people. Oh, and yes, trying to make people improve their performance—that's another kind of art. But 
Let's say that's my tongue. Yeah, it's a, it's an art of the mind. Mm -hmm. Cool. Interesting. Thank you. Trying to get Let's the see. best of everyone. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Oh, thank you, Heidi. Let's see, do I still have? Yeah, I still got 10 minutes. So let's see who else should I ask. Marcos, what about you? Hi, teacher. Uh, the question was, what kind of art practice or life? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, a few years ago, I learned to play guitar. The guitar? Yeah. Guitar, classical acoustic. or electrical? Classical, classical. My teacher, um, he was kind of commun communist, <laughs> or I don't know how to say it. Um, oh, really? So you learned Trova? Uh, he teach me, he taught me, taught me, taught me, taught me uh, songs from, you know, it's a group from Venezuela. But a wow. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. You learned Trova. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Yes. But I, um, you know, I actually, I love trauma. Uh, the other day, let's see, when last it, last Sunday I went to to a, it, that was not a small concert, and they were playing, but they were playing some Nicaraguan guys were playing uh, music from Nicaragua actually from a group called Guarda Barranco. Lovely. Lovely. Mm, okay. Okay, yes, yes, uh, I like Proa. Mm. Yeah, cool. I really would like to learn how to play songs from Gypsy King. Oh, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. 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 Yeah, that's <laughs> what else can yeah, I yeah. tell you? You gotta keep on practicing. Yeah, yeah. I stopped to learn how to play guitar uh, a few years ago, but I can I, I really like to continue. Well, yeah. you still got time, you're young, man. It's different with me. I have had an electric guitar here like for five, six years, and I have played it like three times, I guess, three or four times. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I never get the time. Well, nice talking to you, Marcos. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Ana Claudia, what about you? Uh, you say artistic, right? Yeah. Uh, if uh, you consider us a talent, I. I am a radio announcer, so my voice. I yes, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, so in that case, I, I think I, I studied and also I've been blessed. It's a type of voice that it fits. Everybody can do it, but I was working uh, at the radio, so that was that is my talent because I am a yes, radio announcer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is because I mean it's not just it's not simply speaking. No, you need you uh, learn how to modulate your voice, uh, yes. the intonation, and uh, yeah. what type of words you can and cannot use in different situations. And I was working in a, a the long time uh, I was working on ready was for, uh, adulto contemporáneo. Mm. No idea. <laughs> so, my, what I the, pro, the 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 radio music we played is seventies, eighties, nineties. Oh, we, nice. Mm -hmm, yeah. So, did you study oratory? Yes, I had to graduate. We were well. Um, I don't remember the year. They the. Ministerio del Interior, así se llamaba antes, no sabía si se llama. Eh, they made like an, 
a announcement, no sería como decirle convocatoria. Yeah, a calling. A calling, okay. To all the people who was uh, who were working on a, a radio station or TV station uh, you haven't studied. So we passed through a lot of tests uh, and on the first attempt we were 600 people, all Salvador. We just classified 300 and at the end we just graduated 65. <laughs> Yeah, that happens, that happens. You know, the funny thing about oratory is, uh, I love it uh, when you start the, the, the section about reading. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because, I mean, you come to realize that you change your pitch and rhythm when you start reading. When you are practicing oratory, it changes. Exactly, because uh, there is there are some different pronunciation words you need to emphasize different yeah, things yeah also also little things well i didn't know before saying that that little things like this affect exactly. the posture <laughs> exactly. the posture yeah it affects a lot yes the position of your body affects uh, the tone of voice if you are going to sing if you are just going to speak or uh, you must exactly. study you also study laws uh, and Yes, I, I have my 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 diploma, my how do you tell? cartoon diploma. How do you say? <laughs> no, yeah, your certification, your certification. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have my certification. I have my number because all of us we have a number. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. I was studying that for a couple of mm. for some time, but uh, never in the way you did it. Not as mm -hmm. formal as you did it. But in my case was uh, for a different area, completely different area. But it's fun. It's it's interesting. As I told you, I mean, uh, you come to realize that when you are talking in front of a microphone, the position uh -huh. of the microphone, exactly. uh, the position, and you learn how to project. And that's fun. That's fun when you learn how to project your voice. Like, it's different if the microphone is in front than exactly. if it's down. And, and you if you are look, a stand -up You need to be... You need to be look, looking straight, but you are, your mouth is like this, mm -hmm. but you are projecting your voice down. And exactly. to learn how to do that, it's fun. It's pretty exactly. interesting. Exactly. It's, it's exactly like this, you know. Actually, in my case, right now, my microphone is up. Mm -hmm. It's in front and up. And it's like a tiger. I mean, it's farther than this. Uh -huh. So sometimes is if I forget it, and that happens to me sometimes. You mm -hmm. perhaps you don't listen to me properly is because I forget it or I lower too much my my I head forget. and I forget to to project and send the voice. And it's good. I mean, actually, it's something that there are some tips there that almost everybody should should learn. Uh, uh, although there are some people that that comes to them like naturally. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, it's and it's easy important. for people. Yeah, tell me, tell me. No, no, and it's important when you have this, uh, it's something natural, but uh, uh, I, I think it together it comes that you love to read and you love to read everything, not only uh, one thing or another. You read uh, any type of book, any type of newspaper, because it's like you are like collecting and and acquiring acquiring acquiring, uh -huh, acquiring uh, different knowledge so you it's like a, a a need that you want to learn and and always there is a topic to talk yeah and also you need to, to, to not just there's always a topic to talk about but also you can dwell into different contexts to listen to different contexts exactly. and use the the correct and appropriate type of vocabulary, which is a whole different story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. So that is in my case. This coming Sunday, I have a, I'm going to be a, how can I say, Master of Ceremony? Master of Ceremony, that's exactly uh, the way you say it. Ah, okay, Master of Ceremony, okay. Uh, this coming Sunday, I have an event, and it will be for a, 
a school day of art and dancers and stuff like that. Art and dancer, but mm -hmm. a different type of dancing, uh -huh. cultural dancing. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So Interesting. Uh, I learn also. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome to you. Now let's see guys, I need to get the attendance again. Man, this is tedious. Um, uh -huh. Hold on just a second. I'm getting attendance. Okay, Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Ambarelli Alparo Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Sumara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Nicolás Atirio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Montarrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Belman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I got now two different questions for you guys to work with. Always related to art, okay. The first one is, who's your favorite artist, okay? And in this case, doesn't matter that the type of art you like, just tell, tell not me, your classmate, who's your favorite artist. And then I got a different question. What do you think of modern art? Okay, what's your opinion on it? This is pretty simple. So I'm just going to assign four minutes to this activity. You are going to be working in pretty small groups of three members. So. It's going to be fast. Groups are created. Please jump in. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello. Wasn't Roxana here with you? No. Mm, yeah, she told me no with Maria Alejandra. Don't like it. I'll send you to another group, okay? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs>
times mm -hmm. that that I actually sometimes I, I feel like like I can feel the her sun. passion, uh, her passion mm -hmm. you know and when when I I met his her music I just love it I just oh, love it. okay yeah okay. so she is I my like favorite her. artist I like her. Uh, she is one of my my of my singers because I have I have a lot of one, a lot of them. But yes, yeah. I like her. Actually, in my in my Spotify uh, in Spotify, mm -hmm. my playlist uh, the most of the 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 songs, the songs. Is, are from Adele. Yeah. Ah oh, yes, that's a good idea to see what who's my favorite my favorite artist but i have two playlists and one of them is alternative songs and the other one is anime songs because i don't have a really 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 one art um one favorite artist so <laughs> my my playlist have a lot of type of songs okay maybe it's like you are here, Rihanna, Diamonds, and then you are hearing yeah. a, <laughs> some exactly. kind of sad song. <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. That happened to me. <laughs> and how about, oh, I don't know, and I think there is another person here. Ah, oh, Ambar. Ambar, yeah. Hello, Ambar. Hello. Hello, and... Who's your favorite artist? Actually, I don't have favorite artists. I, I like uh, many kind of music. Okay. But I don't like reggaeton in bachata. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like reggaeton neither or nor bachata. Nor means ni. Okay. I don't like reggaeton, neither bachata. Okay, well, in my case, I don't like reggaeton, but bachata is acceptable. And so you don't in have... A, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. When I listen bachata, I, I can avoid to think in... Romeo Santos and oh. I hate his voice. I don't know. Me too. Actually, oh I, don't, I don't like his voice. His pitch of voice is kind of weird for me. Maybe because he's so. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, not really, voice really my is thing. not male voice. <laughs> so you like, you like deep voice. Yes, yes. For example, I like a singer, but he passed away in 2017. I don't know. Chris Cornell in Audio Slave. Do you hear? Oh, yes, of course. I love rock. His voice it was I amazing. Used to have a I used to have a couple of albums of audio, audio slave. Yes. Like a stone. Like a stone, Beautiful yes. Song. Yeah, that's a classic. I am the highway, Cochise yeah, and Gasoline. Sure. Yeah, sure. Now we're talking. I'm sorry, ladies, but we are. Music. <laughs> no, and it's, and, it's a, and it's a type Let's of music check. that I, that that I like. Um, well, the thing with me is that I like a lot of type of music, music different type yeah. of music in general. I mean, I like from, I can listen from from classical music uh, all the way to uh, some, some, because it's not my thing, some rancheras. I mean, I love almost everything. My playlist but, is a salad because I have a, a lot of kind of music. <laughs> Since yeah, rock like, to romantic music. Yeah, like the other day I was listening a lot to one, there's one, two Spanish ladies that I love the way they sing. One is Monica Naranjo, 
that oh. lady sings beautiful now. Oh my God. Yeah, her voice is amazing. Just yes, amazing. It is. Yes, it is. And the other one is also a Spanish lady. She, her name is Diana Navarro. Mm. Good one. Beautiful voice. And, and yeah, and also when it comes to, to alternative rock, man, I like it. Yeah. Grunge and metal and doom. So, in my case, my taste is, it varies. Well, it's time, let's go back. Let's see, everybody's coming in a few minutes. Okay, and here we go. Where's Maria Alejandra? No, teacher, it's been on my topic. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? Who is my favorite artist? Uh, teacher. I don't know, it don't could know. be a singer, a movie actor, an actor, an actress. Uh, I like to work Angelina Jolie. I like to, I don't know, teacher. I have a big problem to remember the artist's name. <laughs> mm. uh, but I like all types or the artists or movies, but I don't like when have a lot of blue or hay mucha sangre or the violence. Oh, yeah, gore, I gore. Uh, gore. I don't like, I like to see all the artists to a uh, romantic, um, to the action or like this, but in a specific topic, I don't like to the artists to participate in this type of movies or like this. Okay, interesting. Thank you. <laughs> You're good. Let's see, where's, where's, where's... Henry, hello, Henry. Hello, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me, who's your favorite artist? Oh, my favorite art, artist actually in the, in the soccer is Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> I don't know if if you if you you that's take it like like an artist. Yeah, that's I think so. That, I think so. I think so that that people had different types to see art. I see art in in sports. Okay, cool. I mean. That's Thank that's you. your point of that's your point of view. <laughs> it's okay. okay, no problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's okay. What about you, Jose Wilfredo? Tell me, who's your favorite artist? My favorite artist, I have two. Okay. Uh, one is Denzel Denzel Washington. Oh, Denzel. Hmm. Yep. Okay. And the cool. other is um. I forgot his name by now. Is let me one more. Adam Sandler, you said. Yeah, that that one. Uh, Adam, Adam Sandler. Sandler. 
Okay, you went to complete opposite. Yeah, that's right. But I enjoy the both uh, type of movies. Well, interesting. Yeah, Adam Sandler is comedy. Mostly, mostly comedy. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then Cell is ooh, action, trailers, a whole different thing. But interesting also. Thank you. Let's see, I still got uh, two minutes. Let's see, Liana, what about you? Who's your favorite artist? Well, my favorite artist is a singer I mentioned before. Oh, uh, yeah. Adele. yeah. Okay, I your really... second favorite. Mm, you mentioned Monica Naranjo? Oh, yeah. Maybe her, yeah. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know how to say it. Have you ever heard uh, her yeah. version of Ya No Puedo Mas? Yeah, sure. Very good. A very good version. Yeah. Uh, I love some of her songs. They're very, very interesting. But right now, man, they just sleep. Uh, ahora. That's a beautiful song. Ah, yeah. It's que, That's uh, a beautiful her, song. Yeah, because her voice is so different. Yeah. So, so different. So oh, that okay. makes her special, yeah. Thank you. Roxana, what about you? You've been too quiet, Roxana. Tell me, who's your favorite artist? Well, to be honest, I don't have an specific. Okay. If we are talking about uh, music, maybe band, such as Bastard Boys or NSYNC. Old you are school, killing you know? me here. You are killing me here. <laughs> <laughs> Tengo calderón. <laughs> you are just killing me. <laughs> Why? Is that good music? No comments. <laughs> but now, to be honest, I don't have enough. I don't have any. I just uh, sometimes hear the radio or watching some videos on YouTube, but I don't have a specific uh singer okay and about uh movies i shared the opinion about uh adam sandler and william what is the uh, last name i don't remember the guy that he says suicide robin williams yeah. robin williams robin williams, robin williams. Yeah, i love that movie so yeah. for me, because it's they, okay. they were like a comedic movies. Comedy. Comedy movies. And I love that uh, movies. Okay, perfect. No, it's okay. Now let's see, Nicolas, I have never asked you, who's your favorite artist? Well, I, I think our different favorite arts for example, for the music, with music salsa, for example, Mark Anthony is a good artist. Uh, Are we, you sure? With uh, uh, Gilberto Santa Rosa and Victor Manuel. Uh, and groups of salsa, for example, is a Salvador All Star. Mm. Uh, in, in, entre otros. Among others. About the others. Uh, other, other tips. Actor, types. for example, types, thank you. Types actor, for example, are Denzel Washington, of, of course, Edward Norton. Uh, oh, yeah, good one. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I don't remember the name of uh, Innocent Silence. The Innocent uh, mm -hmm. Silence. Oh, Innocent. well, uh, it depends. If you are talking about Jody Foster or you are talking about uh, what's the name of this guy? Mm -hmm. Foster, you have good actors. Yeah, I got it on my, the tip of my tongue. Let's see. I don't remember. Sorry. Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. No, 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 it's Jack. no, 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 it's not Jack Nicholson. The first one? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry? The first one, The Silent of the Lambs. Are you no, talking about no, that movie? No, it's Jack Nicholson. Yes. Because Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. Ah, okay. Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Yeah, it's ah, not okay. Jack Nicholson. Well, yeah. uh, this is for, right. for 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 the 
for the actor and actress of, of movie on cinema. Uh, because, uh, for example, for the literature, 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 literature. literature uh, I think the the Greek tragedies are very, very interesting. Uh, okay, which one? Sophocles. Uh, Sophocles, Lipides. of course. For me, Sophocles is a is a good literature liter, li, literature literature. literature uh, uh, what? I I read in my in the in the college in the in the school, at school. or at school at school. Okay. I, uh, that's all, teacher. Okay, perfect. No, that's okay. Yeah, man. I remember Greek classics. They were nice. Thank you, Nicolas. Okay, guys. Now we are going to change completely the topic. We go to something completely different. I need you to remember your last birthday. Remember your last birthday? Now you are going to tell your classmates what you do for your last birthday. Okay? But we are going to. Our last with... what, teacher? Sorry. Birthday. Birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. What you did at your last birthday? How did you celebrate it? What were the activities? Did you give yourself a, a nice celebration or? Did they prepare a party for you, a surprise party? Tell your classmates about it. Jump into the groups. Four minutes, please. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, did you remember your last birthday? Mm, in my case, my cousin and her boyfriend took me to a restaurant, and then we played like one hour in in casino. No sé cómo se Oh, really? Yeah, it, it was my first time playing in a casino. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the money flies there. Yep, it does. It's a, it's it a does. vice. Yeah, that's why I prefer poker. Yeah. Well, in my case, uh, I remember that I stayed at home because I had a little surgery. And I couldn't um, go out, so I have a I had a cheap birthday. Okay, let's see. When was that, Roxana? April. Oh no, we weren't together yet, right? Yes, we are. We were. Sure. It's been that long, man. <laughs> yes. Oh, I start here around February or March. February? Man, yeah. man. One while I got too much. Too much. Yeah, too much. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a, a weird birthday for you, Roxanne. Yeah, to be honest, it was cool because I hate people and I hate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I prefer. I just, to I just love the way you say. Good to know. It's good to know. Yeah, good to know. Good to know. You know what, Roxana? We hate you too. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
know, to be honest, I prefer stay in places without not much people. Oh, you hate crowds. Yes. And okay, like that, that's different, you know. Because Marcos, Marcos was almost crying, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was he was opening his heart to you here in the activity, telling you about the beautiful birthday, and you are like, no, I hate people. No. <laughs> you hate the crowds. Yes. I prefer stay at home or stay maybe in. stay staying at home or maybe in places like a volcano. Coffee volcano. Volcano. Oh, yeah. oh, I was thinking about pushing you, but you are talking about something different, right? Yeah. And the last birthday was very similar because we were in a, yeah, in a quarantine. But it was really good because at night uh, we made the grill and we celebrate a lot. And we cut a cake, and it was really good. Okay. And what about you, Francisco? Just... What was your last birthday? And what? Uh, sorry, could you repeat, please? How was your last birthday? The last birthday, okay. Uh, uh, it was a, a, a very. Uh, I remember that I enjoyed that my last uh, birthday because uh, uh, we joined a For difference. And yeah, I remember. I remember this day, of course, with my with my sister. Hey, uh, that's this, great. Yeah, of that's course. Uh, for example, the, the cake. Yes. The cake. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. So teacher, you won't you won't believe this, teacher. What? Ileana's Ileana's birthday is on Mother's Day, and mine was on Father's Day. Okay. And hold because... on. Ileana. Eliana's yeah. birthday is on Mother's Day. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. And mine one is on Father's Day. And Nicolas, oh, really? it, ber, Nicolas' birthday is on, on December. December. And also her, her, his sister's the same day. And really? they're not twins. <laughs> well, yeah. let's see. Mother's Day, Father's Day, and December, the same day as his sister's. As his sister, yeah. That's Very nice. interesting. Very yeah, you know, Eliana, it's gonna be cheap for your kids. Yes. Just one <laughs> present. Just <Yes>. one present. <laughs> it's not fair. I share my birthday since ever. <laughs> because yeah. more than my my mom's and, and my aunties and my grandma's birthday day than my day actually. Well, hey, but look, at it, look at it this way. I'm 42 and I have had just one birthday party. Well, not even a party. It was just one time there was a celebration that my students did it. No, oh, okay. And was the smallest group I have ever had. It was that group I was teaching, there were just five students. Yeah. And that so, must have been very special teacher. So look at it this way. You're better than me. <laughs> no, and enjoy it. Meanwhile, you have your mother because I don't have my daddy and I wish I could celebrate with him. Yeah, so sure. enjoy it as soon as, as soon as it lasts, right? Uh, yeah. You know, the only problem, the only problem I will have is that uh, whenever it's going to be Mother's Day, that's the one I remember because you see a lot of ads on the TV. But for mm -hmm. Father's Day, man, I never know when that is. My sisters call me, look, this day we are celebrating your dad's birthday. This day we are celebrating your dad's Father's Day. I'm like, okay. Good. But you know what's, what's the best of all? Is that we don't go to work that day. Yeah. You don't do what? Holiday. We don't work. work. 
It's oh, yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, we never woke up that day. <laughs> yeah, Liana's birthday is always going to be a day of cool. Mine went to Father's Day. It's, it's the same, right? Yeah. Yes. Now it is. Cool. Hey, let me see this here. Mm, let me see. May. This year. Hey, Jane is Tuesday. I don't Tuesday. know. I don't even and know June what it is. 17, June 17, Friday. That's going to be cool for you. going to be great. A long weekend. <laughs> what about you, Iliana? <laughs> me, Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursday. Okay, Thursday. that's cool. And Nicholas, the six. December okay. what? Thursday, too. Thursday. Yeah. December 6th. Yes. yes, 6. Oh, we are pretty close. Mine is December 17th. Oh, oh really? Yep. 17th. Yep. Who? You, teacher. Yeah, me. Oh, okay. Hey, my dad used to be We were we were in we were in class last time, Nicholas. Actually, it was the last day of the course. Sorry, teacher, no understand. We had class that day last year. You and me, it was the last day of class. Uh, the last day? El yeah. Último día. yeah, last December. We had class that day. Oh, uh, really? The yeah. Mm. You, for example, in this case, you, uh, 20, 27, December 27. 17. 17. Ah, 17. Ah, okay. It's the last year. It's the last, the, the last day. No, last year. El año pasado fue el último día de clases. Ah, I don't remember. Yeah, I do. I remember. I was waiting <laughs> for that payment. I, 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 I really, uh, I need, I need uh, descanso. Descanso. <laughs> you need to rest. Okay, let's uh, go back to the main room, guys. Okay. Oops. Let's see. Everybody's coming back in. A few seconds. Guys. Okay, well, before we do the, the, the talking about the, the reporting about what we were talking with our classmates, uh, I would like to show you something. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. It's in the manual and you're gonna use it for some activities. And it's this, okay? Let's see, how to use reported speech information questions. Now, remember something. When we talk about information questions, we are talking about what, when, where, why, how, okay? Those are information questions. Now, how do we use it? Remember, when reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often checks back. We know that, okay? Report information questions, we, use, we do it using ask, inquire, want to know, whichever of these expressions, plus the WH word, plus the clause or the sentence, okay? Now, something very interesting that you notice here is that uh, when we are reporting in English a question, we don't express it as a question. It's an affirmative sentence. If you look at the example, what is the process to return a product? A customer asks, 
what the process to return a product was. When do you expect the package to arrive? A customer asked when we expect the package to arrive. When did you ship my order? A customer asked when we had sent or shipped his order. Which items did you pick from the catalog? The sales agent asked which items I have picked from the catalog. And you see, we got the verb that we are using here, ask or inquire. It could be the sales agent wanted to know, okay? And remember, these expressions are in past, okay? If you notice, ask. If you notice uh, in all of them, we are using as. Now, something else. Look, we always have the WH, the one that was expressed here. When? We got it here in the report. The verb, the main sentence, which is in this case this, okay, change it into past. Why? Because it was simple present, right? What is the process to return a product? A customer asks what the process to return, uh, to return a product was. Remember, that's the pass of the verb. In the second sentence, expect, you see, expect. Now, when we have simple pass, simple pass becomes past perfect, you see? Have sent, have picked, okay? Now, and will you know that changes for will? Something that I want you to remember is this. Remember that uh, when we use past perfect, we are reporting, we are saying, we are talking about an action that happened in the past before another action happen, okay? That's what we are expressing. We are saying había, okay? That's what we are expressing with have. Let's go back so you can check it out. If you see, a customer asks when we had, cuando nosotros habíamos sent his order. The sales agent asked which items I had picked. Había escogido. This is very important. Remember, that's the way we use it. Simple past is perhaps the most uh, tricky to report because needs to be changed into past perfect. And remember that the sentence word order in this case is for the past perfect, we have the subject, the auxiliary have, never changes, and the main verb in past participle. With the regular verbs, that's not a problem because what we do is just add ed, but with the other type of verbs like sent, it's different because sent, you know, that is the past participle of the verb send. So we gotta be a little bit careful with that. Now we had us here an exercise. We write each question in reported speech using the examples in the box above as a model. Now, this guys, it's going to be a homework for you, okay? I need you to do it on a piece of paper, or if you wanna do it on the computer, not a problem for me, and send it to me tomorrow, okay, along the day. If you can send them before seven, it would be perfect. So I can have time to check them out, okay? And if you- In WhatsApp, it, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, In WhatsApp group, it's fine. Send yeah, the, sure. The, the homework. Or you, can, or you can send it to, in WhatsApp directly to me, up to you. Okay. Uh, and I'm sending you the image of the exercise because I know that some of you got 
prefer to do it by the, on your cell phone, so this is easier. There you go. There you have it. Okay, guys. Now let's see. Birthday. Okay, Ana Claudia, how did you celebrate your last birthday? Well, I was here at home working, <laughs> and we just uh, took the lunch and just purchased a, a little cake, <laughs> and okay. we just uh, purchased like a kind of special food. The one that I I don't didn't don't remember what we ate. But we just took the lunch and then I come back to my desk, continue working. Okay, perfect. What about you, Heidi? I remember that because of the pandemic, uh, we stayed at home and had lunch with my sister and us. And we had a cake and that's it. Okay, perfect. Eliana, what about yours? Well, my last birthday, we went to my grandma's house and we had a lunch, we lunch with all my family. I I was telling to, to my partners Heidi and, and Nicholas that that was my last birthday with my grandma. Oh, because she died so sorry. yeah, September of the last year. She so passed away. She passed away. She passed away uh, a few months ago. I'm so sorry to hear so, that. Yeah, that was my last birthday with her. So my birthday is on Mother's Day. This one's going to so, be hard. Yeah, so that day was very special for all my family. Very special for me. Uh, we had a lunch. We had a cake. Uh, we shared uh, all, all the day with the family. And just that. That's it. Okay, perfect. You know, guys, this is funny. Eliana's birthday is on Mother's Day and Heidi's birthday is on Father's Day. <laughs> and Nicolas' birthday is the same day as his sister's. His one sister or more than one? One sister. One. one. Okay, so he and his sister have the birthday on the same day. That's cool. Now let's see. Uh, 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 um, Frank, what did you do for your last birthday? Tell me. Well, my last birthday was kind of weird because I I I was with COVID before. Ooh. Yeah, before my birthday. <laughs> yeah, so you were in quarantine. Yeah, I were I was in quarantine, and the day of my oh, in my birthday. I was negative, but the people doesn't want to stay with me. <laughs> didn't want to. Yeah, didn't yeah. want to because just my parents. Yeah, my parents. that's yeah. That's I mean that's a new reality, right? Yeah, so they took me to dinner and just just, just that. that. Okay, yes. cool. Thank you. Now, Mr. Jose Rivas, what about you? Tell me about your last birthday. Okay, sure. I remember that, that I was working. So, and also my family prepared me to a, a little party, so at night. So, but the thing that I really remember is that I went to my bed around 11 p.m., I guess, but the next day was Kind of terrible because I wake up around I woke up around four a.m. because basically I started to to work around five a.m. So, so it was a hard day. Yeah, really hard. Yeah, but but the, the good thing that is that I was working at home. Okay, so, at yeah, least at least yeah. Thank you, mister. Stephanie, what about yours? Well, I was talking with them that I really don't remember. <laughs> but, oh, but, well, but, uh, no, explain but to I, me, explain to me, no, explain to me. Because I, I, uh, my birthday was on me and I didn't do any relevant because was my, my day 
my day was in my job. So I really worked that day and my partners just make some notes on my spot and they they bought a uh, pizza and then I came back to my home and I was a little bit tired but they made they prepare um Mm, bread with chicken panes con pollo <laughs> oh. and I ate, ate that with cake and then I just came to my to my to my bedroom and and sleep and I and I just was waiting my day with my job because I usually I was I just used, waiting I I was just waiting my day on my job because I usually used to to receive a lot of calls so I usually was all the time working just in that case that I have the space to eat a little bit pizza. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. You're let's welcome. See, let's see who else. Uh, Henry, what about you, Henry? Okay, my last uh, birthday was sad. Sad because I was far away from home, from my mom's home, and she forgets my birthday. I was oh alone all day. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. She she forgot my birthday, and I celebrate along my 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 bedroom in the night. Okay. At night. At night. At night. I remember a couple of years celebrating like you, me alone in my room. Ooh. Thank you. Marcos, what about yours? Uh, chair, uh, my birthday, uh, my cousin and her boyfriend took me to a restaurant and then we played a while in a casino. And we spent like $10 and then <laughs> we didn't mean anything <laughs> okay, so not, we, nothing much we come back okay perfect <laughs> now let's see i know somebody who loves partying is jose wilfredo tell me jose wilfredo what did you do for your last birthday are you here jose well teacher yeah uh my birthday was um extreme how many days were you partying <laughs> like three days uh, yeah you see you see i know that uh, you know there's a word there's a word in english for that you are a party animal my friend yeah teacher i really enjoy the party three days that's yeah cool. uh, first day we celebrate here at home uh, with one grill, then okay. we celebrate with my wife, my wife, my wife, family, okay. and then I celebrate with my friends. Okay, how many of those days were you at the beach? Uh, I guess that only one. Yeah, because, I mean, in your case, it's mandatory going to the beach for any type of celebration, right? Yes, teacher, yes. I really yeah. beach lovers. Yeah, I know my people. I know my people. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, guys. Well, it's been interesting. Uh, please don't forget those sentences that I'm asking you to perform. is because uh, I will be checking there if I need to reinforce the topic, Okay. That's why I left you as a homework because we could have done it here, but it's not the same if I start checking and I individually and I can tell if you really understand the topic and if you really apply your knowledge, that's gonna help me to, to realize if I need to work more with some of you or how am I going to work. So please don't forget, try to do it for tomorrow, okay? Now, let me get the the attendance guys let's see Ada Susana Casares Mendoza present teacher and Valeria mm -hmm. Faro Gomez eso es lo más importante Ana Claudia González Velázquez present teacher 
Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Pero ya estoy por ahí trabajando. Sí, primero. Thank you, Francisco. Heidi Eugenia Salguero Arribas. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry Naftali Mendes Torres. Here I am, teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present, teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, let's see, guys, before we leave. Uh, 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 I just need a... Uh, I need Rebecca to stay for a second. Just check your, 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 your chat, Rebecca. And let's see. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure to have you here. I'm still working. I made the report for the section that is giving us problem on the platform, and I'm waiting for them to, to tell me that it's fixed already. As soon as they let me know, I will let you know for sure. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good Thank night. Take care. Bye. 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 Hello, Frank. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Everything's good, teacher. That's nice, that's nice. Glad to hear it. And tell me, how do you feel with the classes? Is there any topic that is giving you problems? Not really. Hello. Sorry. Uh, in fact, with the exercise that you mentioned it before, that you sent it, I was the topic. Bit, yeah, with the top, with that topic. Yeah, I was a little bit confused. And with the section, with the section one, I have so, I had some troubles too with some exercise because I think because. I did it from the cell phone. So when I did those kind of exercise from the cell phone, it's always, <laughs> it's, it's always wrong. I don't know why. <laughs> so I think I had zero in that, in that exercise. Okay. Let me see. Which is the specific exercise? Yes. It was uh, about, let me check. It was. A uh, one point one point five. 
provide the following sentence using proper speech. Okay, 1.5, let's see. Yeah, I had zero because I think that because I did it from the cell phone. So I don't know. And let's see. Well, it was a very interesting. Yeah. I did again from the computer, but I don't know if it's is valid. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Let me check the 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 your grades. Oh, got them. Bellman Frank. But you did it with the same account. Yeah, of course, that's the only one you can use. In the first section, you got 80%. That means that you're missing one section. Yeah. Okay, now let's see. Hold on. In a second, I'm going to check out specifically which is the exercise that gave you trouble the most. I can do it, but it takes me a little bit of time to check it like this. Okay. Let's see. Let me see your progress. Let's see. Well, in homework one, let's see. You got zero out of twenty in yes <laughs> in one exercise. Yes, this is the exercise that I told you. Yeah, you're right. In the rest of them, you got perfect, but there's one exercise that you got completely zero. Is the yes. third exercise according to this? Yeah, the third, but I don't know. It said 1.5. Okay, let me go back to this so we can check it out. Okay, in 1.5, you were supposed to, you got it open there? Yes, yes. Okay, I'll need you to be checking out what I'm gonna text you right now. Okay. Okay, if you notice in the first sentence, big online stores sell trust brands had a strong reputation. A strong reputation, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the apps here. Bird, right? Yeah. Check it out if it works for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is the mistake. Yeah. I didn't notice. You didn't use sale. Sorry. Yeah, this is the mistake. I done I didn't change the auxiliary verb. Did you check on the second one? Yes, especially say people was more secure than the guy. Let me check. People. I wrote people is more secure than the guy. I thought that both both answers are correct. Were correct. What you wrote? Especially said PayPal is more secure than debit cards. It is correct if you say it like that. Did you place the, the, the period at the end? The puzzle punto final? Okay. Yes. Oh, but, but I, yeah, yes, it's correct, yes. Okay, 
Then another one we have is a friend says offer that offers that are too good to be true may be a scam. In that case, a friend said offers that were. I wrote a friend said offers that are. Yeah, that is that is the mistake. You can say you can say it like that. You can say okay. it like that. You can That's say what I thought. Said offers that are too good to be true might. 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 Yes, might be a scam. Okay, that is the mistake. I might we G H T. I yeah, M I G H T. Oh, that is the mistake. I I I wrote me. Okay, then you have uh, one about a blogger, right? A blogger said says mobile phone networks are more secure than public Wi-Fi, right? Yes, I wrote a blogger said mobile phones networks are more secure than public Wi-Fi. Like this? Yes, yes. A blogger said mobile phone networks are more secure than public Wi-Fi. Well, it should accept it. It's correct. Are more secure? Yeah, it's it's as you as you said. But I don't know why it's wrong. Well, if so, not, just change R for where. Okay. Where? Yeah. Okay. And the other one, you talk about consumers, right? Yes. yes. In this case, it's reported. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Consumers reported deals were often hidden in web pages. I I wrote deals are often hidden. Yeah, but supposedly it must be accepted as correct. Mm -hmm. But check it out like that and let me know if it works. With word. Yeah. Okay. So specialist people. Okay. I'm gonna prove. No. All all always wrong <laughs> again. Okay, everything is wrong. Everything. All the sentences. Why don't you copy paste what I sent you? Okay. Without the commillas. No quotation. No. There's no quotation at all. No commillas. In ninguna. Uh, maybe that's the mistake. Oh, yeah. I, if you're, if you're yeah. typing quotation, all of them are uh, wrong. Okay. So that's the mistake. I put the commillas. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, quotation marks don't go in there. Okay. I was confused. That's... That is the mistake. Let me check with the quotation is, right? Yeah, quotation mark. That's the problem, I think. Yeah, that was the problem. But I had two, two bad. Two <laughs> yeah, but you right now you got 92. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so glad to be of help. Is there anything else would you like me to help you with? No, no, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for no, your help. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Always a pleasure. And if you have any problem with any other exercise, just let me know, okay? Yes, 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 of course. Have a good night, my friend. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye.
Sí. Sí. Gracias. 